Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Sorry I sound a little weird. I am congested. It kind of sucks, but oh well. We still got to continue today's video. So, we finally got the last piece that we were waiting for. For the Type Bar, it has finally arrived and I am super, super stoked to get this thing on the car, man. As you guys can probably tell by the title, we did get a new steering wheel for the car. So let me go ahead and show you guys that. So, I already got it right here all nice and opened up. This is going to be an Alcantara suede steering wheel. This is an OEM uh, option from Honda, but I did order this from PRL. I had some uh, reward points, so I got this at a pretty, pretty nice price, man. So I am super stoked to get this thing into the car, man. It looks really nice. I don't know how good you guys can see it um, in the camera go ahead and get it a little closer but this thing feels amazing I think it's just gonna set everything off in the interior since everything is either suede or that nice red um, on the seats it's gonna be really nice man so super happy to get this thing into the car uh, I already got the battery disconnected it's been about uh, 30 minutes since I've had it disconnected so I think I should be good to go to so go ahead and get started removing the old steering wheel so let's go ahead and get started on this guys all right guys so I'm not really good at being a teacher explaining how to do things but I'm gonna try my best so from what I have seen there's gonna be three little holes on the steering wheel so there's gonna be one on this side one on the opposite side and then one at the bottom so from what I've seen you're gonna want to go ahead and take a little allen wrench and you're gonna want to stick it into the hole and press in and there should be a little pressure clip oh there we go so I did the first one and you just want to pull back when you push in so the first one's out let's go ahead and do the other one there you go so yeah you pretty much just want to push in and you'll feel the pressure and you'll feel it release when you're pulling so uh, pretty simple I did not think this was gonna be that easy um, I had done an install on my ninth gen and that was screws so this was uh, pretty new to me but luckily got it figured out <laughs> and there we go now we got the airbag on, which is step one. All right, so now that we got the airbag pretty much off, what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and disconnect these last three wires that you have to get the airbag completely out. So you're gonna have these two right here and you're gonna have this one. They're pretty easy, they're just pretty much clipped, so you're gonna just wanna go ahead and clip them and pull out. So we got the wires off and yeah, pretty much like I said for the most part, these two that are connected right here, they're gonna be two little clips. You're gonna wanna pull them up and yank this thing out. And the one for the top, there's gonna be a little clip on the bottom and a little clip on top. Squeeze both and yank it out and you're good to go. So now that we got this thing off, we're gonna go ahead and focus on all the screws that are in here and get the wheel off. So now that the airbag is completely off, we're gonna go ahead and focus on what is in here. So as far as what I can see, we're gonna have uh, two screws on this side. We're gonna have one screw here, and then we're gonna have two little clips up top, and of course, we're gonna have this connection to the clock spring. Uh, looks pretty simple. Probably just hit it with a little flathead or even just with your finger and yank that thing out. And that looks like it's pretty much it for the inside. I'll go ahead and double check. Um, of course, we're gonna have the main center right here, uh, which will be the last piece of the puzzle, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Always double check um, that everything is disconnected man as I remember when I first tried this on my ninth gen I did mess up and I forgot to disconnect my clock spring so always double triple check man that everything is unscrewed and disconnected before you actually attempt to start uh, taking the wheel off completely so I got these three screws out and I did disconnect my clock spring. Other than that, I do not see any other connections that need to be disconnected right now. These two that you see on the side, you actually don't need to mess with until the steering wheel is off. Those are for these connections and that's for when you'll swap them onto a new steering wheel. So you don't need to worry about that till it's off. As far as for those two clips that I had told you guys about, you also don't need to worry about those until the wheel is off. Those are actually what hold the little back piece onto the steering wheel. So you don't need to mess with any of that right now. As far as for that middle, I did want to tell you guys, I was having a hard time figuring out what I needed for that so it is gonna go ahead and be a size 10 Allen socket that thing will go ahead and fit right in there you guys will be able to get that thing loose I'm not sure if I'm gonna go ahead and use an impact or a wrench that thing looks like it's gonna give me a hard time uh, hopefully it doesn't man so let's go ahead and get to this and get this thing off Alright, so after struggling with this stupid center bolt for quite some time, man, I was finally able to get it off and get the steering wheel off, man. I did just go ahead and use my wrench. I didn't have to use an impact, but let me tell you, that thing was on there really, really good. It gave me quite a hard time, but yeah, luckily we were able to get it off with just the wrench in that socket, man, so we're good to go on that. I just hit it from side to side, and the steering wheel was able to come off with no issues. I did just want to point out, so I was kind of wrong in my earlier clips. As far as for these little screws, those three screws, I really don't think you need to uh, take that out before you take the steering wheel off the only connections that I see like I said were these two um, and the one for your clock spring and well, of course this black one as well but I really don't think you got to worry about those three screws until after but I went ahead and took them off anyways I guess that'll be the final piece of the puzzle um, when the other steering wheel is back on but yeah man let's go ahead and swap all this stuff onto the new one 
So I did just want to give you guys um, a better side-by-side -side look of the two steering wheels. So this is the OEM one that came on the car, the leather one. We still have all the little bits and pieces on it, but we'll swap that over to this one right now. You guys can see the big difference. This one is a whole lot darker. It feels really, really nice, man. This is at Alcantara Suede. This does also have that nice uh, red stitching like the other steering wheel does. So this is also going to match everything on the inside of the car. And like I said, this is an OEM option from Honda. This is a Honda steering wheel. So this thing is just going to look really, really Really nice in there so I just need to swap everything from this one onto that one and then we can go ahead and throw it back onto the car alright guys so I did get this first little face piece off and it did give me quite a hard time so let me go ahead and show you guys how I managed to do that so to start off there's gonna be a little clip in there what you're gonna want to do is go ahead and grab a flathead and press up with the flathead once you do that you're just gonna want to lift this with your fingers and it should pop right up once you do that you're gonna want to go ahead and take off these two screws if you haven't already like I said you didn't need to do it prior to taking the wheel off but if you haven't taken them off already now is the time to do so once you do you're gonna go ahead and do the same thing and just pop this up with your fingers and you will now have the top and the bottom part popped off and then you'll just want to go ahead and go along the sides to pop up the controls and once you have done that and they're a little loose and you can kind of move this up you're going to want to go ahead and disconnect those white connections that way you don't yank on them or mess them up once this thing is done so yeah man just go ahead and disconnect those and once you do this will come right off and your connections will be right there nice and pretty without messing anything up Alright guys, so I actually already got the back piece this steering wheel removed as well. So I'm not giving you guys uh, detailed clips or just instructions on how to do this. I'm actually learning as I'm going as well, but I can at least say guys for the most part how I did it. So to start off, um, on these two little sides right here, I actually thought they were going to be screws, but they're not. They're going to be like little tabs or clips if you want to call them. You could just go ahead and press in with your thumb and you'll feel them um, go in. And then those little clips that I had told you guys earlier, you could just go ahead and grab yourself um, some needle nose pliers. Um, just clip them and push out it'll help if the steering wheel is at an angle that way everything will pop out but yeah you'll just want to push these down with your thumb push those down with some needle nose pliers and push them out and just yank that back piece out and it'll come right off just like that <laughs> So the final piece to the puzzle is going to be this little part and it's actually pretty tedious to get it off, at least it was tedious for me. I don't know if anyone else could find a better way to do it, but there's going to be these little holes right here. What I did was just go ahead and get this little tool and they'll be poking out a little more. I already popped it out, but you'll just want to go ahead and go in there with this and push down and they should pop right out. Like I said, the thing was pretty tedious. I couldn't figure out how to get it off without potentially breaking something. But yeah, that is how we did it. So now everything is off the old steering wheel and we could swap it all onto the new one. All right, guys, so I finally got everything swapped over onto the new Alcantara Suede steering wheel. And man, this thing looks so, so good. I can't wait to get this into the car right now. It is just going to match everything so perfectly. Like I said, this has that red stitching, has that black suede, just like the interior of the car does. And this is the old um, OEM leather steering wheel. This one is nice as well, but I mean... It's nothing compared to that Alcantara one, man. Can't knock this one, but yeah, this thing just looks so, so good. And like I said, this is an OEM option from Honda. And this being a Honda steering wheel just makes it that much better, man. Can't wait to throw this into the car right now. I'm going to go ahead and take a break real quick and get some food. And then from there, we'll go ahead and throw this thing on and finish up this video. All right, so I went ahead and threw the new steering wheel onto the car. As you guys can see, I got that center bolt on already. It is torqued down. As far as for everything else, I went ahead and connected my clock spring, got those two screws in. We also got the one in for the ground over here. We also got these two things connected. So we are good to go. The only thing we pretty much need to do are connect these and this one back into our trusty airbag. Once that is connected, we can go ahead and throw it back on. Hopefully, we won't get any codes on the car for doing the swap, but if we do, it should go away within a few minutes of driving. So once we got this back on we'll go ahead and take this thing for a spin and see how this wheel feels and hopefully i did everything right man so yeah let's go ahead and get this on as you guys can see the steering wheel is complete as far as for the connections on the airbag you just reconnect all three of those and once you do just go ahead and smack it on there and press down and it'll reconnect you guys will hear it snap on it's real easy man so yeah everything is good to go but just look at that steering wheel man i think this thing looks so so amazing it feels so amazing as well like i said it has that nice black with the red stitching which really goes well with the black and red stitching suede on the door cards and of course it matches the seats as well everything just looks so so amazing in this car i think it really offsets it man i am really really happy with this purchase thank you prl for getting this to me uh really fast man i'm gonna go ahead and get the battery reconnected and take this thing for a drive like i said hopefully everything is good to go and yeah man let's get this thing on the road
All right, so I got the car here on the road, and let me tell you guys, man, this thing feels amazing. I really, really love the steering wheel. I did just want to let y'all know, though, so you are going to get a couple of codes on your car. I've literally just been driving a couple minutes, and they already went away all by themselves. It's just going to say system initializing. You just keep on driving, and they'll disappear, man. Other than that, no other issues. I'm really, really happy with the work I did, man. Um, the steering wheel is straight, and the car is driving straight, so I'm really happy I didn't have to spend any extra money getting this installed. Um, like I said, I did have some help but I'm really really happy with the work done man hopefully we won't need an alignment I do see people say that you need one after but everything's checking out man and everything's looking good I can't stress it enough man I really really love the way this thing feels and it is just a really really amazing steering wheel man shout out to PRL once again man and Honda of course um, I'm really really happy with this thing so we're gonna go ahead and get this back home and wrap up today's video all right guys, so I'm back home from driving the Type R and everything completely checked out. The steering wheel is on straight, the car drives straight, and it handles nice, man. All those codes turned off, we have no other issues. I am super, super thankful and grateful I was able to do this on my own without having to take it somewhere, man. Can't complain about saving some money. So yeah, I'm just really, really happy with the way everything came out. The steering wheel looks amazing and feels amazing. Thank you to PRL for getting this to me really, really fast, man. Other than that, guys, I did just want to let y'all know the O-rings for the Sylvia have finally, finally arrived, man. So we can finally get these things down to Rigo's on Monday so they can finalize the tune on the Sylvia. Once they do that, that car will be good to go, man, and we can finally drive it home. I have been waiting so, so long for that thing to be here, man. Um, I'm super stoked on that. So yeah, once Monday comes along, go ahead and take those O-rings and then we'll have some Sylvia content ready for you guys, man. Other than that, that'll wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.